Hi guys, I hope you're having a good day. Today's video is going to be about press releases. Now, I've seen a lot of questions about this being asked on Facebook groups and I've had people ask me specifically about it. So I'm just gonna clear up some issues around this, my own thoughts of it and what you should do when it comes to press releases. So I've seen a lot of these kind of press syndication services where you submit a press release and it's placed on a bunch of sites. I've even had people ask me about this and if I offer to do it as part of my link building service. In all truth, I don't and I'm not saying they don't have any value, but I would say my time is better spent getting extremely relevant and high quality backlinks. So there is a time and place of when to do press releases. So where it does become useful is if you've got something or the company has done something that is genuinely newsworthy. Think along the lines of doing something which is a world first, which nobody else offers something extremely funny or if it's shocking or something very generous and charitable. Those kind of things, once they are released, they may get picked up and distributed on some very, very high authority news sites. You know, you're talking the likes of the Daily Mail or um, the Sun or the Mirror, these kind of ones. And I'd recommend it if it is genuinely something as interesting as that. You should probably even do some active outreach yourself to online journalists and to online newspapers. In this scenario though, it's not really just about the authority of the link because often on the Daily Mail or the Sun, it's gonna be a no-follow link, but it's also about getting the direct traffic, the referral traffic and the brand awareness. But more often than not, your time is probably better spent just doing traditional link building because most of the time you're not going to have something which is newsworthy you know um, if you do use a press release service for kind of um, something which isn't as newsworthy it's going to end up in lower authority sites so in this scenario the actual backlinks themselves won't be that useful in terms of seo and even traffic you know there's a few reasons for this i mean one is low authority Secondly, they're very deep within the sites and those sites probably have hundreds of press releases on them anyway, so the traffic will be minimal. There's also many others using that press release service and if everybody's getting a link from them, your competitors could be as well and you know, how much value does that link have? Is it really going to be that powerful? Because more often than not, the easier it is to attain a link, the less inherent value that link is going to have. In relation to real link building where you're trying to get links from very relevant websites which have some authority and are likely to have some traffic you know which has your relevant audience there's no comparison. However a lot can be said for using press release uh, getting links from press releases you know it can diversify your anchor text ratio so if you've got a problem with opt over optimization it can be good at diluting down an over-optimized anchor profile, it does send a slight ranking signal to Google that you're actively trying to promote the website, so it's not going to have a massive effect. I mean, you're not going to um, increase your rankings with the sheer volume of press releases, but initially at the start, um, if you're starting link building, you may be able to outrank a competitor for, for the kind of less competitive keywords. So all in all, it's gonna have a, a positive effect, but I wouldn't recommend to spend a great deal of time on it or resources or money on press releases. Where they come in useful are when you have something which has you know, the potential to go viral, you know, and to get shared on some major news publications. I mean, I know um, there was a company that I talked to recently, they um, had some kind of infographic that talked about the history of street art and it was a, kind of um, urban street fashion brand um, and you know they, they did some press releases and they got some very authoritative links from the likes of the Daily Mail um, and I think the Sun as well. But the point is the majority of the time when you don't have something which is truly truly you know um, newsworthy and uh, potential to go viral you should be concentrating on instead just building links from very relevant blogs and websites instead. Hope the video helped today. Thanks for watching.